Then we go and look at the intestine, specifically the large intestine, the colon. So we can see here, here's the right side, right here, and then it travels all the way across the abdomen to the left side, and then comes all the way down toward the pelvis and out. Now what I'm looking for here is abnormal wall thickening. So you can see here, here is the wall and it's nice and thin. I don't see any constricting mass or abnormal wall thickening. If I did see any abnormal wall thickening, I would go over to my fluid sensitive sequence and see if there's any bright signal in there. If I saw really bright signal, that would indicate to me that there's an inflammatory process going on. If it looked kind of gray signal on this sequence, then I would be more suspicious for a possible colon cancer. Now, we do again have limitations looking at the colon on this particular exam. As you can see here, all this kind of white gray stuff within the lumen, the center portion of the colon, is all stool content. So you can imagine that if there's any polyps in there, I won't be able to see them because the stool masks the polyps. So that's why we still advocate for colonoscopy screening in this setting.